um, jumping on um, live to talk allergies because everyone is dying. <laughs> um, the last few days have just brought out the worst of the worst, I think, for people who do suffer from allergies. So I wanted to just share a couple of really simple tips on things that you can do to prevent um, all of those awful symptoms that you feel um, when you're having an allergic reaction to those season changes. So one of the first things um, you can do is getting a really good essential fatty acid into your system. Um, so EPA and DHA are really important. Um, it's best if you can get it from food. So think uh, like flax seeds. We always have a thing of flax seeds on our counter and we use that in our smoothies every morning. Um, really great for that production. And then think like walnuts. We always have a really big jar. I don't know why I feel the need to show you, but walnuts on our counter as well. Uh, it's such a great food to have on a daily basis. And it's just like a small handful um, every day. That helps with the production of the EPA and the DHA. So really great to prevent um, allergies. So the second thing is magnesium. So many of us are deficient in magnesium. We get a lot of calcium because a lot of foods are fortified with calcium, but we don't necessarily get the magnesium we need. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can get that in our foods. So my favorite way is just through nuts or in seeds. So I like to keep just a, a bowl of mixed um, seeds on the counter. This one has like walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, really, really great for magnesium. Celery is also good. Um, you know, picture like celery with maybe um, sunflower or sunflower seed butter on it at night with maybe some raisins. Uh, it's a really great uh, food to help prevent, um, it helps control the allergy. Another one is to focus on the cruciferous vegetables. So think cabbage, broccoli, onions, um, apples. And um, those foods are really high in something called quercetin. Quercetin is a flavonoid. And what it does is it stops the immune cells from releasing histamine. And we all know that histamine is what causes that awful irritation in your eyes and that, that response to a seasonal allergy. So try to eat more of that. Like follow what the doctor says, have an apple a day, right? That can be a really great thing. Um, we have a big cabbage on our counter and we've been using that, that a lot over the last couple of weeks to help really with that prevention. My kids love it cooked as well. I don't know if you've tried it with your kids, but Cabbage is amazingly sweet, and kids actually surprisingly really do well with cabbage. So that's a great food to add to your, uh, your diet. Also, vitamin C-rich foods. My favorite foods for vitamin C, uh, red peppers, as well as kiwis. Um, strawberries are, are okay. A lot of them are very highly sprayed. So I like to stick with kiwis um, and red peppers, and then citrus fruits are okay um, if you're not allergic to them. So some people are sensitive to the citrus fruits if you have an, a yeast buildup. Um, another great food, garlic. So try to, I know everyone doesn't love the, the after effects of garlic, but you can actually get it in supplement form. Or, or try to have it like two to three times a week, like a big clove of garlic, stick it in your cooking. Some people just chop it up and put it in a glass of orange juice and chuck it down. You can try that if you're brave enough. Um, hey, and if your whole family is doing it, you can all uh, smell the same. So you can try that. Um, probiotics, so really important. So a lot of people who are suffering from allergies um, their gut is slightly compromised. And so what you wanna do is you wanna build up your gut, the good bacteria in your gut. And so we do that through probiotics. Now, there aren't a lot of yogurts that are really super effective with high levels of probiotics. Um, there is, there's one, but I, I prefer getting it in supplement form. It's just easier, you know you're getting the right levels. Um, doTERRA does have a great daily one. If you're like suffering really crazy, I would get, get maybe a stronger one from the health food store. I like Saroyal. Um, they do a really great job. We have some at the office as well. Give that a try. Um, and then turmeric is really great. So it's a spice. Many of you have seen it. It's that kind of orangey spice. It's an anti-inflammatory. So that's also a really great food to add into your cooking, your recipes, um, to really help to address that inflammation that comes with allergies. So now I'm going to just talk quickly about oils because there are some amazing oils that help with um, allergies. And the three um, ones that we, many of us oils, oilers use a ton are lavender, lemon, oops, oops and peppermint. Um, so just remember LLP, LLP, lemon, uh, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. Shot of each, um, like one drop of each in a glass, chug it down, amazing. Um, you can do that every kind of four or five hours if you're comfortable taking them internally. If you don't wanna take them internally, you can make up a roller bottle, um, dilute it in fractionated coconut oil, maybe if it's your kids, um, and then apply that um, every now and again. So you can put that on the bottom of the foot, you can put that on the temple so that you can inhale it, and even breathing it in is also really helpful. So that addresses the inflammatory response 
super healing. Um, people are, are loving that that technique. And I also just learned from someone, a fellow oiler, Brittany, um, that Immortel is fantastic. If you roll it under the eyes, it really helps to address that itchy eye feeling. This is an awesome blend. It's an anti-aging blend and it comes free this month if you place an order with 200 point value. So it's definitely a nice one to have in your medicine cabinet. Um, lots of great benefits, wrinkles, um, like I said, allergies. Um, some people use it as deodorant. That's kind of a neat one to have. And uh, hey, it's anti-aging, who doesn't want that? Um, so anyways, just wanted to share that with you and just really quickly wanted to let you know that my team is going to be setting up a group to talk about detoxing your summer routine. So we're gonna teach you tips just like the ones I shared with you today um, in this private group and we're gonna do this over a few weeks and there's gonna be lots of prizes and lots of exciting things happening in that group. So if you are interested in learning more about detoxing your summer routine, definitely let us know and we will add you to that group. Thanks guys and have a great day, bye.